Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna take a look at the improved content aware fill in Photoshop CC 2019. A long long time ago, I showed you guys how to use the content aware fill, and even though it was impressive, it was far from perfect. But in the 2019 version of Photoshop CC, it got so much better that I had to make a new video about it. So let's open this photo of a fan that is sitting on my desk at work. I'm a big fan fan, by the way. Oh, you're so fanny. But the problem is that there is a stupid double tape on my fan. Not a big fan. Stop it, man. I'm gonna create a selection around this tape using the polygonal lasso tool. And then if I use the old content aware, just go to edit fill and select content aware here the result will be something like that nope so instead let's go to edit content aware fill it's like the same name but a completely different thing and now there is a whole new content aware fill workspace here we have some tools on the left some settings and sliders on the right and the live preview panel now, see the green area here? This is called the sampling area. So this is what Photoshop is using to fill in the selected pixels. And I can control that. So for example, I don't want Photoshop to use this part of the photo. So I will activate the sampling brush tool, make sure it's set to subtract from overlay area and start erasing the sampling area. You can hold down the Alt or Option key to add to the sampling area. When I release the mouse, the preview panel is updated. So let's remove all the unwanted areas. Now let's look at the settings over here on the right, specifically the fill settings. I'll leave the color adaptation at its default value. I'll activate scale so that Photoshop is allowed to scale the sampling area. I'll also activate mirror to allow Photoshop to flip the sampling area horizontally. And finally, I'll set the rotation adaptation to full. Look at that. This is close to perfection. Just like my face. But there is one more thing. In the output settings, you can output to a new layer and hit OK. So the whole content aware fill is happening on a separate layer. Here is another example where I used content aware fill to remove this piece of paper and the results were astonishing. Photoshop knew how to perfectly follow the pattern. I mean, come on, this is unbelievably awesome, isn't it? <laughs> 